Welcome everybody to the 311 Griffin YouTube channel. This is the F-15E Silkworm setup mission that is included with the game. We're going to set up the packs as usual. Set our armament. Program 1 is going to be my LGBs. Okay, we're going to go to Program 2, Mark 82s. C dip, step, nose tail, and cycle back to program one. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and pull up the twos for now. We've got a little ways to fly. And we're gonna try to stay low. I believe in this mission there is the silkworm site that is not, not quite operational. We're supposed to take it out and there are some other SAM sites in the region but shouldn't be anything close to where we're making our attack run from and there may be some enemy air units as well I, th I think if we stay low we may be able to um, delay the enemy air units uh, but once we start bombing if they're in the area I suspect they'll they'll come at us I don't remember what the briefing said if it even addressed that but uh, I think once we start bombing they'll be alerted and and vectored to us um, so okay we are heading towards point two but I'm gonna offset just a little bit because we're gonna start trying to get set up on the target we're gonna switch to the air to ground radar and I don't want to be pointed right at it so let's take command of that. Seeing some ships pop up out there. Let's go ahead and bump that out and we'll start trying to map. It should be right along waypoint two according to the briefing. So we'll start mapping that. And we're going to bring up the teapot. It looks like our map, we're a little bit close to the center line. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and box EXP so I can zoom in a little bit closer. And we're going to roll starboard just a little bit and see if we can get the map to expand to, to get a better view. And it kind of did. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cue my pod over there. I, I see stuff there. I don't know what it is. We could zoom in a little closer and get a better idea but intelligence tells us that the side is at waypoint two I'm seeing some things there in the radar so we'll just queue it up on the teapod we'll bump that in I see a ship and some stuff along the shore I don't know what that is we'll turn in a little bit start going more towards it and we're gonna go back to the air to air radar we're not going to take command of it yet but we're going to try to get ready for um, kind of keeping an eye around us as we do our attack runs we're self escorting here and um, this is a this is a particular mission where I think uh, playing co-op with a Wizzo would be really cool because the Wizzo could um, now take command of the air-to-air -air radar and just keep an eye out, look around, um, make sure everything is clean in the airspace around us. So we're going to designate. I don't know that that's where it is, but I want to get start getting set up to uh, deploy these weapons or employ these weapons and uh, we'll clean that uh, we'll clean that targeting point that designation up as we get closer a little less than two and a half minutes out from release uh, if that designation remains the same I, I think um, well, yeah, well, let's pull the twos up down there. I want to be able to see. I want to be able to at least look down and see if anything's popping up. I think that 11 
that sh I think that's an SA-11 off to my starboard side. Should be, as long as I don't go too far that direction, we should be good there. Minute 40 from T-Rail. I'm going to climb and we'll see if we can get better visibility of that and uh, also get a better altitude for bombing. I'm going to level off here. I still can't really tell what that is in the pod. What specifically? I think it's multiple things. We're going to designate again. Oh, I think we had a pretty good designation, but I bumped it down slightly. Or at least tried to. We're going to keep doing that. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay, so there's like a truck and a missile rack there. Let's get over on the missile rack. We're less than 10 seconds out. I'm not exactly on target. We'll adjust when the bomb falls. One. Bomb away. Lasers on. Two trucks in the missile rack. Okay. Yep, there we go. Some guys down there. All right. Three. Oh. Nice. Impact early. Okay, I take command of the air-to-air -air radar. And go to air-to-air -air mode. And I'm going to um, let's see him. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to just kind of drop down in altitude, and we're going to extend just a little bit, come back around, and uh, switch back to air to ground mode. Get on a new target, on our run in, and uh, bomb it. That's the plan. Don't really see anything new popping up on my RWR. Okay, we're going to start rolling back in. Go back to air to ground mode. Command the pod. Whoops, rolled a little too much. And I'm gonna uh, the <laughs> I struggled to get the F-15 centered up properly, but we do want to be off to the uh, left just a touch because I bombed the leftmost target on my way in, and now I'm on my way out. So we're gonna be off to the left again. I think I see the next one over. Oh, that 11 popped back up on my RWR. Um, yeah, that should be somewhere in there. We're 20 seconds out, so we're going to go ahead and designate. I think we're close. I'd like to be a little closer, but... Okay, yeah, we can sweeten that up a touch. Designate. I'm a little off-center. Five, five, there we go. Not quite straight and level bomb away. We were a little bit off to the right, and then my teapod bounced. Oh, there's a excavator down there. That's cool. Nice. That looked like a good hit. Um, we got some new contacts on the RWR, or new emitters. Uh, 
I see some stuff looked like on the air to air to air radar but I think I have time if I just really quickly uh, let's go this way I want to be kind of heading more away from them oh yeah yeah there's some contacts out there at like 30 miles that's pretty close we're gonna try to do another run here going away from them yeah that was a little bit of a messy a messy turn And I don't know that that one target died, but we're going to bounce over. Whoa, there goes my targeting pod again. We're going to bounce over to the third one. Designate that. Uh, this is going to be close. We're less than 10 seconds out from release. And I over flew the plane. Three, two, one, go. Once again, I was off to the right, but we got a bomb away. Laser's on. Right, that looked like a pretty good hit. Okay. Uh, this might be dumb. I think I'm gonna spin around and do another one on my way to engage the uh, whatever's out there. It says M1 on the RWR when it was popping up. Um, is that an F1? A Mirage? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably a Mirage. M M1? F1? Mirage F1? Hmm. I really don't want to let those guys get too close. Um, okay. Targeting pod in command. I okay, that's a pretty good target there. This might work out designate let's sweeten it up I'm off to the left a little bit bomb fall lines coming down three two one ah, that was kind of ugly lasers on hmm uh oh I don't know that that worked very well in command of the air to air radar uh oh Where'd that guy go? There he is. It's mini raster him. Got him. We're gonna go into TWS. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Okay, we've got a secondary lock. Fox 3 on the PDT. We're gonna switch. Fox 3. We're gonna switch back. PDT to the front and switch to the We've only got two AIM-120s. Oh, good hit. Got to switch. That'll vector us onto this guy. Oh, and he dropped off. Ah, okay. Good kills. Um, I don't think that last bomb hit, so we need to go back to... We're going to have to go to our profile and pick profile 2. I'm going to go ahead and bring that teapot back up. So I can kind of try to check out the space as I get closer. And to help me know where to line up on the target. So, yeah, I can't really tell where that bomb hit. Oh, there's some stuff rendering. Designate that. That'll give us an aim point. place to fly the plane to. I think the missile rack uh, launcher or whatever is uh, just off to the left of my designation, I think. It's going to be hard to pick it out. 
Okay. That looks pretty good. Hey, that wasn't a bad hit. It was a little bit off. Something exploded. Okay, we got some other vehicles over here. I don't know what all down here needs to be destroyed, but we're just going to put a couple bombs right there. Whoops, I put one too many out. Dang it. That, that last one was a complete waste. Okay, there's a couple buildings down there. I don't know that those are targets. But they're part of the site. I put bombs on or near everything else. Not that everything else is necessarily dead, but we're going to... We got two bombs. We're going to do one final pass this direction and then head home. We're going to try to put one on the building, that white building, and then there's, there's kind of a hut or something over by that leftmost smoking pile. So we will try to get both of those. Bomb one, and bomb two. Oh yeah, okay. I think it's a little short. Yep, it was a little short of that building. Okay, now just in case they've got any additional air units inbound, we're just going to kind of burn out of here. We don't have any more weapons that we can really effectively put on those targets. I think we got everything. I do not have a mission past message popping up, so I don't really know. I'm guessing I did not fulfill the mission requirements in some way, shape, or form. Uh, but there's not much else we can do about it. I feel like that was relatively successful, but um, we'll check here at the end. But we're back in nav mode, checking. Just I'm just trying to keep an eye out, kind of over my shoulder a little bit, just in case. And uh, let's start setting up to navigate home. Um, let's look in here. There's still a silkworm up. So, okay, I just damaged that. That's why That's why I didn't get the mission successful message. Because I didn't kill all the silkworms, but he was pretty damaged. He was fairly fairly damaged. So, that's good.